back to another episode of Diabetes 180. If you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Louis Berdis. I'm a physician assistant and diabetes reversal health coach. Today we're talking about habit tracking. How can we stay consistent with our habits? Now we all know the burden of starting a new habit. It is very hard, um, especially when it's something that you haven't been doing consistently for a long time. You know, you start out the week with uh, some grand idea. You know, I'm going to exercise more, or I'm going to start drinking more water, or I'm going to start uh, eating more fruit, right? Okay, and you might start out pretty strong day one and day two, but day three comes around, day four, day five, and the busyness of life pulls you a million directions, and you don't even remember the commitment you made, right? And uh, a year later, you're still stuck with the same health conditions, whether it be high blood pressure, heart disease, or like we specialize in this channel, diabetes. But I wanna show you one powerful tip that if you start doing this, I promise you, I guarantee you, you'll start being more commitment, more true to your commitments, okay? Um, and uh, it's called habit tracking. It actually comes from a uh, book called Atomic Habits. I definitely recommend reading that book. Uh, and it's something I've been practicing. I've been encouraging my clients to start practicing and they have been seeing consistency uh, and, and more frequency in the in things they're committed to do, okay? So it works like this. First off, you get a calendar like this, right? It doesn't have to be this big. You can start, I, I actually use a small, uh, like a daily planner. But I like using a, a, a cal like a monthly calendar like this because if you hang it somewhere, where you can see it every day, it becomes a strong visual reminder of your commitments, okay? So you start out with a uh, specific habit that you're trying to develop, right? And of course, we all, we're always teaching the importance of being very intentional in those habits. We have a video on that, and um, if you want to check out the, the videos that we've made in the past, we have a video called uh, Implementation Intention. So that means don't just say, uh, I want to eat more fruit. You want to be specific. I want to eat six servings of fruit and I'm going to keep a fruit basket on my kitchen counter to remind me, you know? So you have to be very intentional, uh, regarding your, your, your habits. I'm going to exercise 15 minutes every day after my meals, you know? So be specific. That's one step. Uh, that's one important tip. But now, it, more important than this is being consistent, right? Because, you know, we all have these lofty ideals, but a lot of us fail to stay true to them, all right? So in this simple video, I'm going to show you what I do, all right? So right here is my calendar. Um, forgive the sloppy handwriting. They do say doctors uh, have poor handwriting, so I'm staying true to the stereotype, okay? Uh, six servings of fruit, uh, eight glasses of water. Uh, this says 30 minutes of exercise, and this is 15 minutes of reading, a uh, personal commitment to myself. I always want to read more, but I just forget, right? End of the day, I forget. So um, it's important to be true to yourself. So I'm not going to say an hour of reading. I'm going to start slow with like 15 minutes, okay? So I write down my commitments on the bottom of the calendar. And every single day, it's so simple. It's, it's, it's crazy. So now what I do, I like to start uh, when I'm making a new habit, I like to start at the beginning of the month, right? Uh, it, it's like a reset button or the, let's say you're starting uh, the beginning of the year. Uh, so the first day of the month, um, I'm going to uh, start and then I'm going to wait till the end of the day, obviously, and ask myself, was I true to my commitment? With this calendar hanging on my wall, all I have to do is look at my list here and then mark a calendar on day number one. Mark an X on the calendar on day number one, meaning I stay true to my commitment. Hooray me, right? Uh, and then next step, you know, it's next day after day, I'm marking an X on the day I stay committed, right? Day went, day three, I'm staying committed. I'm, st I'm feeling encouraged, right? What's nice about this method is as you go through each day, um, you're going to be able to pull back and see a whole bunch of X's on your calendar. And What's really cool about that is that it kind of um, encourages you to continue, right? And, and, and uh, it's almost like a self-fulfillment. When you see this, the, these X's, it becomes very encouraging to keep the, the routine going, right? Without having some visual reminder of your commitment, it's like, you know, just it disappears in the thin air. 
So having a calendar and using this, I mean, it cost maybe like $10 uh, at Staples and putting that in somewhere you could see it every day, you will stay truer to your commitments, right? It's not about perfection. Having a healthy lifestyle is not about perfection, okay? Nobody is perfect, especially in this 21st century when we have a lot of things pulling our attention. What's more important is progression and consistency, okay? And if you track your habits, you'll start to see more consistency and then you'll start to progress towards your health goals, all right? So I hope that was uh, something that you can start practicing uh, at the first of the month, okay? And uh, let me know if it was helpful. Say, leave a message or comments to encourage others, all right? Uh, again, my name is Louis Burtis, and as always, I pray above all things that you may prosper and be a good health, even as your soul prospers. See you next week.